Welcome to Dungeon Master, where we see the history played out of the commercial that we must. Watcher, if you'll apologize, the racing level that didn't make it into Dungeon Master Legacy, but is somehow preserved on the mighty Facebook. This game already shakes with the nervous energy of its nighttime out. And here we have a spring fourth day where we see the glitter, the glow, the solid movement of really impressive looking 3D animation for 20 years ago. And, well, it hasn't been that long, has it? Actually, it's wondering if this is even out yet. But it is, it's somewhere. In the world of Morrowind, or it's in the Hidden Elder Scrolls, but this is different than we had partaken of on the way to the video game pleasance and slow-moving necessity of the Oregon Trail. And that we're having technical lifters tell us what we can and can't play. We've hit a blackout on the permission rush, so excuse us while the internet refires its apparatus and brings us back to this pleasant floating voyage. And most of this game, though, the original version was so manic in its array of how hard it was to traverse this trail. Whereas in this one, it is still a challenge, but is a challenge accepted by the pioneers, which is so much truer to the nature of where the pioneers originated was from both the north and the south who had to turn westward to find their lots. In this is the history of going down the road that was built to go across the plains and finally reach the other side of the west and I've never seen it so gloriously apprehended as before. The delight it is a comfort knowing that this be the ultimate organ trail and that it's every bit photographized as it would be around that perilous journey but not of a high mortality rate like the old video game gives away. In its monstrous way, it has this cowboy and Indian theme that's totally primitive. But this gliding down the hill, a stagecoach possibly, is so exciting. I'm going to see what goes on later. Oh, that we're back in nighttime, but characteristically now we have like a lantern or something set before us. Because does anyone see light through this travel that we must do? In the night, though we must rest the horses at some point that we keep missing, but for now, we enjoy this embarking on the dungeon. The grand dungeon is connected to us all. And may the window of opportunity always be our leave. But does this set us apart as dungeon master guides? Or will we reach the unattainable heights of it all. Well, I don't know if this was the Oregon Trail and I clicked on a commercial and it went to these relaxing road rides, but it looks like it could be used in a video game like it. And this guy, this tiger pioneer gives it all away. We're not sure what game we're in again. And that oblivion seems to be a Skyrim-like game. And that doesn't seem to be like the traditional stagecoach we were riding at all, but a three POV of a tiger man. How could these things be related? If we had clicked on the icon we had preferred, we would not have taken this beautiful serene walk through virtual land. A virtual land will get you on these nice dazzling walks to make you forward thinking and to think about the goals you have to reach about going all the way across on this walk that you have to do as a character and how long you have to walk across these games is part of what makes the game engine so rare is that you can walk farther on these games 
and possibly any other games you can lock on except for the locker games which are never released in America unless Dungeon Master releases it first. But Dungeon Master has no release due on this dungeon of foggy roads and towns unexamined and how slow we go at night through the rain through the trees and that we see every level given to us of nature's beauty in this synthetic robot that designs the script we're working on. Wow, it's in the running for being. Well, that's going to get it at least going along and then we're moving again. That we stopped, someone at home must have stopped. Did you stop? No, I'm not mad about it. I want to get to this portent of a better tomorrow. And I've been hit by a commercial again, so we must, we must find out what they want us to buy. We will take it. We will buy it. We will buy one of their products if they so slipped by us because they're YouTube recommended. And if YouTube recommends a commercial, then I take it seriously because it might be a business opportunity that someone gives you a commercial on YouTube. It just seems like it would be. It seems like nothing to be snuffed at for sure. But that we're getting videos inside these videos is not our interpretation on how the rulers of our capabilities are the sponsors and all the sponsors have gotten together on an, a summer school session school which seems like you missed the spring but went to the summer for your break and you didn't miss the spring and by that I mean I don't mean springtime pretty time or whatever you say in your primitive own languages that we thought this was the Hawking Trail and that's the one where everybody's shooting at each other with arrows and guns and trying to get go hunting for meat along the trail and that the pioneers were all had to be vegetarians to be respected as pioneers by today's terms and they said well the meat they took was all they had man and I said then why didn't they grow fresh crops of culted corn. And we got in this big political debate and I lost big time. Because I always gave up on political debates when I know I have not a shred of political agenda in Dungeon Master, which makes me extremely exceptional to Dungeon Masters that I have no political strength or scheme or political curb to any of my work. The Dungeon Master Guild would barely promote me to position 199. If I give another seat up and go back to 200, I stand a better chance as being the bottomest of all the dungeon masters. And I apologize because I'm still a higher ranking dungeon master that's gone through many, many villages of unknown video game lore and overwhelming games that were trying to be made and now can be made and games that are being sold at rapid levels and it's it is a game but that there's other pieces to Dungeon Master like the original Dungeon Master guide would help just about as much as a Hitchhiker's Dungeon Guide. I've never admitted to that I guess. What are you getting at this? We have to raise money for Dungeon Master. So it makes money for YouTube, right? Doesn't that sound crazy? It's so crazy to even think that you would raise money for someone without wanting a cent in return. That's the ultimate idea. So if you're making a YouTube video and raising for someone, money for someone, make sure you're on the don't ask for anything in return. Well, I never would. I would never make it look like an unnecessary action. But that YouTube's been kind enough to me to even air 60 of these hours. And that the Facebook other handling is not an objection to my lords and makers at YouTube who can and will devour on to me if anything goes wrong with these projects. And it will look like from the outside in. 
we must follow all the rules that our tankers, can tankers, devil stoics give us. In the tradition of men, we have mortality and seeming the immortality beyond the worlds of our forgotten ills and equipment we have to take us on. A game, whether it exists or not, is out of the reach of the similar that was always playing this game and never knew they were stuck on it. And in a dream or something, they dreamed the rest of their life but were stuck at this part of the game. And Dungeon Master warns there are harder levels to come and there are things to see beyond reach of human control. And that we're just traveling our path, whether it's the Oregon Trail or these mock-up 3D fantasy games that are getting too good for their own research. And that's Oblivion is all related to that backlash Oblivion movie being into role-playing games and funding them as a director in Hollywood. I know all the story. But what I'm saying is just never fear. Because we've only heard Confederate Atheist. And that draws me to the point that this would be a mighty slow dungeon master if we didn't ilk out any other copyrights at this time. We'd probably be better off, so we send it out with a nice, where's this trail going? It looks like the trees are already growing on this trail, but where's this trail going is what we'll play. Or have we already been to this bridge, or is this bridge even our awareness of perception? As Berkeley states, we perceive what we are perceiving to us, not what everybody else is perceiving. That the mind is set only on what it perceives on its own to each of us individually is beset upon one of the things that identifies us as different. And I'm not making this up telling you what I know. To be a dungeon master, you have to be the best and the brightest, go to great schools and do great things. And you come back and you're still only a mighty dungeon master, but the great dungeon masters are out there, dungeon master champs. The ones that play for real, well, they're in Amsterdam. I don't ever speak of them. But the ones that are in fantasy worlds that they've created, that they literally live by, all over the world is a role-playing gamer's delight that has been going on only since the invention of the role-playing game AD&D, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. And I know you're thinking that sounds really nerdy right now, but trust me, we've gone 60 Dungeon Masters and we're getting slapped on the back with our own work to get through this dungeon and get us out of here and get us to safety as any other quip would have, but that this level is a slow walker beats my chances at this fast driver. Because the fast driver, when it was giving me Formula One racing, was giving me glitches. And I'll just, I'll just have to, uh, I'll have to have a technical difficulty because I see something in the horizon, it's called I don't know what this is exactly. This looks dangerous. It looks like there's hearts falling and she's getting killed and it's a commercial for something. But I didn't mean to see that. Now we see the YouTube commercial was somewhat inappropriate, but we thank them anyway for that game. It's so subversive. It's not really one I would play, but it looked interesting on the way she was kicking those hearts in half and then that we you please have this commercial before this wheat flowing. It's a beautiful thing about the high and low end of the internet combining, and we love that about it. But it drags us to our end, and then we end up magnified in the light of the prettiest pictures on earth and the things that we go esoterically hunting for in our filmmaking bag is things of still life that brings us photography, that brings us serious photography and film is serious photography. Cinema is serious photography, that's all it is. And if we've mashed up on some complicated twist, 
Well, be not that it may, I hold great pictures in my overcast and will not leave you blitzkrieged, but have a technical minor issue with a chord that looks balanced right there. That's the image I wanted of that castle, cathedral back there. I knew that technical difficulty would be shifty, but worth it. What do you think, Dungeon Master? Have we put them through the grail? Oh, seek ye not the easy way to Dungeon Master, for I will bury you in idioms about the mysterious nature of these pictures and their lasting relevance to the internet and how a picture like this captures something like what it looks like to be a tea time hut behind it for getting in a gazebo or something to smoke a cigarette, but they'd be terrifically terribly primitive in front of these plant lice that are growing without such pollutant. No matter how minor it is, we don't want to desecrate our dear mother nature just because one of us wants to have a snack on some tobacco. But actually, mother nature has given us tobacco, as we well know. But mother nature may have been tampered with in some of the making of what they call cloned tobacco. No, I'm kidding. That's just a recent one-liner from this Hitchhiker's Guide Club I went to as Dungeon Master once to try it out my level one Dungeon Master. It's almost impossible when you're playing for Wizards of the Coast because they expect you to be the top Dungeon Master even though know you're the bottom one. And I'm telling you, other Dungeon Masters are way better at this. Let it roll, but it's not quite a freeze frame effect. And I know that's just an effect I'm coming into about leaving the image the same. But I'm a, I'm a boulder filmographer named uh, Mortimer Switch, and I'm here to help out Dungeon Master get through his last few minutes of what it looks like could be a still photo again, and it just breaks my heart. It breaks my heart for all things cinematic that you would single it down to such a slow frame of filming that if you paused it, it would take great difference from the picture's depth and width and all the things we can speculate about how light and shadow play on this picture and how it's moving. You can see the sun in the background ever so slowly catch your eye as a moving object and then it suddenly seems in the same place again but further maybe but it's not moving very fast and that we've suddenly had a slowdown means we can build a tent and catch a night's sleep for once in the game. We can build a tent and catch a night's sleep and we'll all be right below. We'll have whiskey and burgers for breakfast and we'll traipse down this hallway of dungeon mastering because it's not for the weak. That sometimes you have to have a good job and I do and sometimes you have to have a great job but then dungeon mastering is the great job of all. Or if you're elected guide at Wizards of the Coast, many godlike qualities will betroth you on your way to picking up the bad that they have waiting for you of potions, elixirs, high potions, and all things dragnet in the surface of a total romantic happily ever after ending, bro. And that's what this picture reminds me of is a totally romantic picture show. It's like one picture is all we need now. And it seems like a glitch all of a sudden, but the sun is still moving ever so slightly in the left of the frame, which is to your right, if I flip the camera now. Don't, you can't really cross the, the 180 axis with Dungeon Master because the lantern only goes so far in the picture. And we can kind of see that there is some kind of building structure back there. It is where Mary Jane met Paul, because he, the Beatles be smoking back in up in a gazebo hidden in the woods right there. Oh wow. This picture has entranced me with its bare durability to maintain my misdirection that there was or wasn't something back there until you focused in on it and came back. Now I'm convinced that Cathedral was easier to see when the light was more to the left. What do you... Hang on, I have to analyze this dungeon to see if it's going to work. We're cutting it short for this reason. Insert tape B.